Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rome. I go by the name of Doc Rome on YouTube and I am a urology resident in the Philippines and I vlog all things about medicine. So if you like that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So as I've said, I am a resident in the Philippines. So I still take my exams, which is the in-service exam or the RITE, which is the Residents in Training Examination. So in this video, I'd want to talk about the study mindset I have two weeks before the exam or the crunch time. So let's start with number one. Number one is basically having a positive mindset that you'll pass and not just that, that you will answer all the questions and remember everything that you've studied because you've prepared for this for a very very long time. So me personally, I tell myself I can do it. I will pass because basically I have passed the exams before. So in your case, as a med student, just think of it as you retaking all the exams you took during med school and you just have to take it again one day, two days, three days, four days. So it's basically just a summary of what you've accomplished in med school. So having that thought at the back of your head. So it's something positive that you will pass because you already did back in med school or if you're in pre-med so if you're gonna take the board exam for your pre-med nursing med tech pharma so just have that mindset that you will pass positivity claim it so by now you should know what kind of questions they will ask which brings me to the next tip to study your sample excess so you should already know by now some of the questions would be recall, some questions would be cases or two-step questions. So they're gonna ask you to diagnose and they're gonna ask you how to diagnose or how to treat on the second question. So by studying your samplex, you would know that. And remove the thought that they're gonna ask the same question word per word per samplex. So it's not gonna be like that. So they call it samplex-based learning because you have to study the questions, the case on the question. And then after that, you have to study all answers so from A, B, C to D you have to know why this answer is right why this answer is wrong so basically they just interchange some of the right and wrong words in the questionnaire so you have to think like an examiner to understand those questions so back in med school padamihan tayo ng samplex so you have this samplex on this topic and then another one the next year same samplex so make sure you're not redundant because you're just gonna waste your time if you're studying the same samplex with the same topic so make sure not to waste your time on the topics that are almost the same or the questions that are almost the same so it's currently quarter to eight and it's raining super hard i have an or at eight so i'm just gonna do a quick rounds and then join me um on my or so for today i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna do radical prostatectomy so let's go Two hours later. So being an actual resident, aside from being on duty, pre, prom, seeing patients, OR, rounds, whatever our job is, we still have to study, especially when preparing for the board exam or the in-service exam. And of course, most of the time, when we see patients, we still study their cases and see theoretically how to manage these kinds of patients. 
So, depende sa yun, sa reference mo. If it's a book or most of the time journals. So, yeah. So, it's still raining outside. We had one hour today. So, it's currently 4 p.m. and there's still. It's still raining outside. So, don't mind the rain artifact. And going back to. Tip or mindset number three, which is your mock exam scores. So forget about those mock exam scores. Most of the time, the mock exams are difficult to prepare you for the actual exams. You weren't that prepared as much as you are prepared now for those exams. So don't you worry about that. The actual exam will be unreasonable and you can answer those. And for sure, believe in yourself you will pass and answer those. So forget about the mock exams. To be honest, I'd skip those mock exams, the pre-boards, uh, pre-whatever exams because it just adds anxiety to what you are doing. So make sure to focus on your goals, on your schedule, so you won't panic, so you won't get anxious. But depends on you. Some of us, of course, iba iba tayo. Some of us would appreciate would like to gauge what you know by taking those mock exams but for me i think samplex should be enough so samplex based learning at this point so two months i don't think you should be worrying about your previous score because at this point in the game i'm sure must prepared na kayo. the number four time to review your flashcards time to review your notes and make more notes so it will be easier to do your recall and answer those recall questions. Try to be as efficient as possible. At this point in time, you should know what's effective for you already and what should be consistent. Siyempre, ayaw natin maging consistent magkaroon ng backlog. So make sure to find those and what's effective for you. So me, for two weeks, as in review na lang talaga, I just look at what I forget and what I need to recall and those questions that I'm... 80% sure that will be asked, so I review those. So two weeks before the exam, make sure to include the review time for you since if you had the schedule, as I've said in my earlier vlogs, you probably have finished your schedule before these two weeks. Which brings me to tip number five is to stop cramming and start trusting. Siguro niisip mo, ito na talaga yun, wala nang oras, like two weeks na lang, it's so close. So for this, you just have to relax and trust that you will pass, you will remember everything. Kasi naghanda ka naman eh, if you deserve to pass, you'll pass. Time to relax for you, which is number six, relax and take care of your mental health eat, listen to lo-fi music. So there will be days that you feel like giving up, too many backlogs, and you feel like you're gonna fail. So I'm sure this happens to everyone, hindi lang ikaw. So stay in your grind, relax and take your time if you need to talk to your friends. Do that, eat, sleep. Mental health comes first. So it should be part of your grind to take care of yourself also. So hindi lang aral na aral. Make sure to take care of yourself also. So with that in mind, I'm sure you'll be at the right place and everything will follow. So good luck to you guys. So that's it for today's video. Super thank you for watching. So I know what works for me might not work for you, but I hope this video helps and super na enjoy ko making this kind of video for you guys. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment if you have questions or if you have suggestions for my other viewers and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye!